Hello YouTube, we're going to restore this little 6 inch pry bar. I'm trying to show you there, I've been filing on it. And then I'll be reshaping that. And just a hint, sharpen that edge. See where it's sharpened? Do not sharpen this side. Just think about it. if you want to pry it or something, you don't want to cut it in, you want to dig into what you're trying to pull off. You're getting camera. So I'm not using a tripod, I can get right down and show you. Just my opinion. Uh, this will either be flat on the end or kind of round it a little bit. It will not be pointed. Here, back off a little bit. See these lines? That could be factory. I did look up, look up on Harbor Freight. They do have a 6 inch one. And they have the coating and then they grind them that way too. I want to smooth that as much as I can. Uh, we're still debating whether to put a gun blowing on it. I may just polish it. It's going to be a workable tool, so it won't hurt to polish it. So, we'll bring you back. Probably after we do some more filing and sanding. We're going to use our little vise set here with the file. I mean, that's pretty beat up. We want to put a shape back to this because they are a very handy tool for... Did I say handy? Handy, you can do this. For like prying out seals and stuff. That's kind of what they're made for. But, all around tool to have in the mechanic's box. I said, I'm guessing it's about 6 inch. I don't have my ruler. So stay tuned. We don't want this to be a real long video. thought I'd show the vise. All the different angles. It is nice. That this is hard stuff. You hear it squeaking? But it's fileable. Nice to have this vice. Yeah, you can put it in here all the different angles. So you can work on stuff. So back to work. Okay. It's good to have a selection of files. It's kind of like a round file, half round, triangle. These all came in a set. Husky. You can find them all over different sets. But I just chose Husky because they look pretty tough. They've lasted me quite a few years. And 60 grit. That's just a sanding disc. The stick on kind of peeled the paper and stuck it together. You can move as much metal as a file that. Kind of an odd shape how this thing is designed. See that? How it goes around. We'll take our little round diamond Dremel ball and get in there. See how I filed? That's my scanner in the background if you wonder what it is. Uh, just the ambulance call somewhere. Anyway. Back to work. Okay, we did a little bit of filing and grinding down here. Because that was all chipped up. Plus, had some gouges in there, like, you know, when you jam it in a hole or something, scar it all up. Said, we're going to take it to my scrubby thing, see if we can get rid of those whatever, like you took it to a sander or belt sander or something there, lines. Was this all, this had, like, the bluing stuff on it. You can tell it's all smooth there. Okay, back to work. We'll do the scrubby thing, polish thing, and we'll see what it looks like when we're done. So we did a little more Dremel work. A little diamond Dremel stone down in there. We took a little bit of this edge off it. Mostly it's sharpened on the inside. I know I keep saying that over and over, but that's how you want it. If you got to get it underneath something. There you go. I'm repeating myself. Back to work. Well, that's the best we can do. There's still going to be some scratches in it. It's really hard to get them lines out where it was sanded and ground on before. We used everything from sandpaper going lengthways to a lot of stuff. So There you go. At the very end of the video, I'll put a little clip of me at the big, the biggest buffer wheel. It's probably about the three and a half inch, four inch one. Uh, because it is noisy. I don't know what it's going to sound like. Because this camera does not like some electric motors. So, there you go. We're done with this little project. Thanks for watching.